fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, Pig. Um, so this movie's been out for a couple months, but I'm still going to try to keep it spoiler free. Uh, but, uh, this movie follows, uh, Rob Feld, a, uh, he's kind of like this hermit living in the woods with his, uh, uh, prized foraging pig who helps him uh, find truffles and stuff, and he sells the truffles to this young man that, uh, I guess, takes them and sells them himself. Uh, but anyway, one night, uh, Rob's pig is stolen and he's beaten up in his house, and so he, along with his friend, uh, Emmer, the supplier, and stuff that always buys the truffles from him that they're going on this little journey trying to find who stole the pig and how to get the pig back and that's all I'm really gonna say about this story because I don't want to run it for anybody who hasn't seen it um, but this is one that's been on my radar for quite a while I've been wanting to see it since I saw the first trailer back in April or May of this year and everything and it went I tried to go to see it at the theater and stuff but unfortunately at the time that it was out in theaters was like the only weekend I had where I could go see it was the same weekend that I went to the horror con and everything so I ended up not getting to go see it in the theater and everything so I had to wait I finally got it on eBay uh, and everything and it came in the mail a couple days ago and I watched it finally and I I've got to say um, it was a really good movie I, I I wasn't like it wasn't quite as good as I was hoping it'd be, but I still really, really enjoyed it quite a bit, um, and everything. I was really hyped on it because Nicolas Cage has been on a roll in these last few years. Like all of his movies in the last few years that I've seen, which I haven't seen every single one he's done in the last few years, because he does a lot of movies every year it seems like. But a lot of them have been really, really good. Like I loved Mom and Dad and Mandy and color out of space and uh, even this year's Willy's Wonderland which was really really fun movie and everything and this movie I could just tell from the trailers that I was gonna love it and everything although I'm not gonna lie I actually was halfway expecting it to be a John Wick style movie with Nicolas Cage going over the top over someone stealing his pig and stuff but it was nothing like what I expected it to be um, it was a little it's a little drama movie and everything and it, it just has a really great performance I actually think Nicolas Cage should get an Oscar nomination for this movie he was amazing in it and everything he's like I said he's been on a roll lately he, his performances have all been really great in recent movies some of them have been over the top and just over the top fun like you expect from Nicolas Cage some of them have been legit great performances like Mandy which is a little bit of both um, but this was a uh, a really entertaining movie and uh, Alex Wolf who uh, plays Amir is really good too is actually one of his best performances too and he's one of those that I hated him as a kid he was on a show that one of the shows on Nickelodeon that I thought was obnoxious and stuff uh, uh, the Naked Brothers band and everything I, I thought it was a really really dumb show but and over the years his his acting and stuff has gotten a lot better like I've seen him in other movies like Hereditary which I think he was amazing in that one but this this might be my favorite performance of his it's just really really great performance and everything and but he, he's one of those actors that's getting really good though I'd like to see more of his stuff and everything as he, he see how his career progresses and stuff because he started out on a show that I absolutely hated for the Naked Brothers band but um, I think both of them give really great performances and uh, uh, Mark Cernoski who does, is the one that directed this movie he also wrote it and stuff too did a really great job with it and this is like his directorial debut and everything is like he's a director I want to keep an eye on because he did a really great job with this movie 
and everything. And I will say it is a little bit of a slow burn, though. It it, it does kind of have a slow pacing and everything. The movie's an hour and 30 minutes, and it feels like it's a little bit longer than it is. But aside from that, I really don't have much to complain about it. It's really entertaining and everything. I don't know that it's going to be one I want to revisit a lot just because of the slow burn thing. A lot of slow burn movies I don't like revisiting all the time. Every, there, But I probably would enjoy watching it every once in a while. And everything. And it, it is a really good movie. It wasn't the best movie of the year like I was halfway expecting it to be for some reason. I was like, I, I had my expectations way too high on this movie. But I did still really enjoy it. And I wasn't disappointed in it. Real bad. Um, like I said, it, it, it just... It could have been a little bit better, but I, I blame my hype on that more than anything. I don't think it was necessarily the movie's fault. I just expected way more out of it than it was. And that, it's fine. I mean, some movies are like that, you know? And it's one that probably will get better. Uh, I'll probably enjoy it more on rewatch and stuff and everything now that I know more of what's going to happen and everything. Because like I said, it wasn't the movie I expected it to be. But it is a really entertaining movie and a really great performance from Nicolas Cage especially. And everything, if you're a fan of him, you definitely should check it out and everything. Because he really has been on a roll lately. Like, he's been in a lot of really good entertaining movies and stuff. Some of them have been just little B movies. And then you get movies like this that are legit really great movies that hopefully he'll get some award recognition for this one. Because he, he really deserves it. But... Um, so I'd say I'd give Pig a 8.5 out of 10. Um, it's really, really good movie. It is a slow movie, but it is still really good. And it's definitely worth checking out and everything. And there are some really heartbreaking scenes in this movie too and everything. Like, there's just parts in here that are really sad and it's kind of a downer of a movie too. That's another reason I probably wouldn't want to rewatch it as much because it is kind of a, one of those movies that's kind of depressing, but it it's still worth checking out and everything but let me know in the comments what you think of pig and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody